It's Tuesday morning campers. We've had our holiday extended until Thursday now, which is quite nice. Very nice in fact. So Sadie's feeling a bit better, aren't you my little fruit? So we're just going for a nice walk near the campsite. Um, we've crossed the road and we're going through some nice woods now towards Dursingham village. Well, I suppose we're in Dursingham. Um, nice pine cone forest or pine tree forest. And who we got behind us? We got Sadie, and we got the little chappy himself. Eric, he's just had a play with a nice, um, what sort of dog was it? Yeah, golden retriever type thing. He's a bit shy this morning. Anyway, so yeah, we're off to a nice little walk. Probably, hopefully, pick up a pub en route. And we're generally going the Sandringham Estate sort of direction. So, yeah, that'd be nice. So, yeah. Ambiance, Tweety Birds. Been walking about 40 minutes now from the caravan in the field right next to the Sandringham Estate. Spitting a little bit. Anyway, crack on. Hello, just checking in. Um, right, it's 20 past 12 on Tuesday. We just had a lovely walk, as you might have seen if I've um, put the video clip in, around Sandringham, just outside of Sandringham grounds in their, in their, in their forests, pine pine tree forest, which was good. Wasn't it good enough? Did we enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. There's Sadie, yes, Sadie's actually with us. Yes, brilliant. And what are we drinking? I'm drinking a pint of Reverend James, before I forget the name of it, which is actually a pretty nice pint, actually. I'm enjoying that. Sadie, yes, she's got a pint of black sheep. That's unusual for you. Oh dear, oh no, times are hard. And Eric's fine down there, he's just chilling, and he's got his lunch. So yeah, so it's been great actually, um, weather's been okay, so happy days, you know, weather's been good today actually. No, what was the name of this pub? Coach and Horses in Dursingham, that's where we are at the minute, got a nice little garden thing going on, just give you a quick scan, it's probably about, yeah, but it's a 20 minute walk from the um, campsite, as it says, there's a few doggies in it as well. Anyway, happy days. Right, we've just ordered uh, vegan. That's about the only vegan thing they've got, but that's fine. Chip butties all round. What do you call them, love? Chip. Cob. No, it's a cob. Cob. And, of course, Sadie didn't fancy finishing her beer. So, of course, I had to do the honourable thing and offer to finish it for her. And meanwhile, Sadie got a Sauvignon Blanc. Didn't you? Yes. You like Sauvignon Blanc. Happy days. That's what I call timing, chaps and chapesses. Just about made it back from Dursing Am, um, and it's chucking it down. Actually, it was thundering on the way home, wasn't it, love? Oh, yes, it was. We were lucky to get back. But we're lovely and toasty in our little van. So that's nice. What are we going to do? We're going to chill? Yeah. I might watch, uh, listen to, I'll see if I've missed anything on Jeremy Vine, one of my favourite little weekday shows. Maybe do a bit of editing and stuff. And then uh, just relax before tonight's shenanigans, whatever it is that we're going to do tonight. What are we doing tonight, love? Hello. Food food and beer. And Sadie reckons she'll be reading, but we'll see how that goes. Because apparently it's going to get sunny a bit in a bit, so around tea time. So happy days. Catch you later, campers. Right, very quick um, site review of pine cones. Um, I've decided, I've, I've 
I think I can pretty much do it from um, from standing on this spot. I can pretty much get a 360 from here. So, looking down there, as you come in, that's the main road. Sounds quite noisy now, but they have got uh, sound um, hills over there and trees and stuff, which deaden a lot of the sound. And to be honest, it's, we find it not a problem in the caravan. It really isn't. Uh, so you come in there, we've got the reception and shop in there, basic shop in there. Um, they do sell a little bit of wine and stuff and barbecues and a couple of bits and bobs for your caravans and stuff. We've also got the little takeaway hatch there, for, um, which, is, which is open, that, that's from Norfolk Nibbles. They do uh, basically stuff, fried stuff chips and stuff they do they're here Friday night Saturday night Sunday morning um, there's the times Norfolk nibbles and they're very accommodating as well to our strange vegan ways they also sell gas there's the prices for the gas I'm guessing that's because uh, this is the first site we've ever been to so I'm guessing that's fairly normal here comes Eric and so yeah, so that's where the tourers are. Uh, we are fully furnished, so we've got all gas, connectivity, everything is near to hand. So basically the only thing we have to do is just empty the toilet once a day, which is great. That gets emptied in that building there. That's where you empty the toilet in there. You do your laundry and stuff, which we can't go into at the moment because of COVID rules in there. Um, So yeah, you can do your washing up in there, and that's a toilet block as well. Um, so all tourers down there, which is quite nice actually, it's nice and quiet, nice and friendly, so that's lovely. And coming around here, we've got the statics over there, and there's some, uh, some little pods over in that corner if you want to go glamping, which is great. Lovely and quiet, nice to hear the little tweety birds. Um, yeah, also with the facilities, there it's looking a bit curious, also with the facilities you get um, electric and water thrown in, it's not metered, so you can use as much of that as you like, uh, which is great. Wardens have been friendly. The, oh, let's tell you when the, the office opening hours, we got tripped up with that a couple of times, is that. You've got your COVID Ujima flip on the left. So yeah, pine cones. It's all right. I like it here actually. It is our first site. Um, yeah. So now we're down the other end looking up. So there's the two touring um, caravan roads, avenues, paths. Of course we've got the obligatory huge thing there, but presumably belongs to the owners or something. And we've got a kissing gate down there, which opens up onto um, lovely, lovely walks. If you go that way, Eventually, about, ooh, about three quarters of an hour, an hour's time, you'll end up at Snettersham Beach. And if you go that way, you'll end up at Dursingham and carry on over to Sandringham, which is where we went earlier today, Sandringham Estate and the grounds, which is really, really nice. So lots of lovely walking areas. You don't need a car to get to them. You just go through to Kissing Gate over there and Bob's your uncle. Happy days. This is nice on Heacham Beach. Started off on the South Beach, heading towards the North Beach, I guess. As we're walking in a northerly direction, there's Eric and there's Sage to the right. And there's the beach. Lots and lots of lovely, lovely sand. Water. Clouds. I think are actually 
be coming towards us. Still, quite a few fresh ones to be had somewhere over there. So it's not all bad. What a lovely view too. Bonkers! Hey! Play the little play, mate! Hey, what are you doing? What's going on? What's cracking off? Hey! Whoa, where's the fire? It's always in a hurry! Here comes this, I don't know what his name is. What's your name? Eric, making trouble with the dogs that are on the leads. Oh no, I think not even himself. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Go fetch Eric. Go on then. Eric! Eric! Come on! Come on! Eric! What's this? Oh, he likes that noise. Oh, look at that. Here he comes, he's like a mad dog. Well, he is a mad dog. Unfortunately, no, I better give him one. Oh, sit down. Here comes Eric. Eric and Birdie. Come on in, let's go play. Living in the sea eventually. Eric, come on, buddy. Let's go! Get on him! Oh, here comes Mummy! Yeah? Oh! Wellies on. So, get them wet without having to dry them. Further in the water. So I feel like I've actually been in the sea a bit. Parts are all booked though in the summer, the caravan campsite, probably all booked. Alright, I think I'll start heading towards Erigo and the Missis. This is one of those very gradual beaches. Chilling on our last day in the coat coach and horses. Um, I've got uh, I'm here with the missus, and I'm drinking two pints, a uh, pint of black sheep and Reverend James. As you can see, the Reverend James is deceased, but the black sheep is tasting lovely. What have you got there, my little fruit? You've got a and of course there's Eric and he's got his treats as well his treats and he's got his water we're all happy it's uh, sort of 20 past 2 in the afternoon we've had quite a busy day haven't we we went to as you've probably seen on um, 
in the video clip we did earlier. We were walking up Heacham, well we drove to, from the caravan park, we drove to Heacham South Beach, walked up there for a bit which was nice. Um, weather was okay, it was sunny and then cloudy and sunny and cloudy. Yeah, it was nice and got back to the van and we thought well we could either chill there for the rest of the day or make the best use of our last day. So we decided to come here. Anyway, let's get back to me. Is it the Reverend James I've had? Yes. Which one was the lighter one? Is that the one I've had? No, I think this is the darker one. So that's the Reverend James. I've had the black sheep. I've had the black sheep, everybody. I've got the Reverend James to go. But at the beginning, I said it's the other way around, didn't I? Anyway, both very nice pints. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I just thought I'd do a, a last vlog. Well, I presume it's going to be the last one, just so we're getting the beers in, so um, I'll probably forget to do anything later. Just to sum up our little holiday, really. First time we've ever been caravanning. Both Sadie and I said, yep, yeah, we really, 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 really enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. Weather's been inclement, it's been chucking it down, then it's been sunny, then it's been cloudy, but it's all over the shop. But that doesn't really matter too much. I suppose we've been lucky because we've had, um, like we've watched the weather on Google weather apps on our phones. Uh, so we know that, you know, it's gonna rain in the afternoon, we'll go out in the morning. Like, I think it was yesterday, wasn't it, love, when we did that, yeah. And by the time we were coming back home to the caravan, we were bumping into our neighbours that were going out. Oh, they're going to get peed on. And they did. Came, came back looking like drowned rats. So, yeah, so it's really good to, um, you know, obviously if there are people thinking about caravanning out there, just it's good to pay attention to your weather forecast. Um, there's been something something nice about, I suppose, just having a caravan which is sort of made up the way you really like it. It's like a compressed version of our house, really. The layout's just the same, open plan, but obviously a bit more compressed. Um, so, so for us, it's really comfy. So there's just something about that, that makes it a bit more special. So, you know, if we're feeling tired, we think, oh, we're looking forward to getting back and we can chill and relax and spread out. And, or get some kip if we want to or whatever. Um, but yeah, we really enjoyed it for, and that's one of the reasons. But also around here, it's been nice to just, we've got a little um, sort of circuit going now from the, ca from the caravan site. It's tw 20 minute walk to a couple of pubs, which are lovely pubs, lovely walks as well, um, where you can see little deers and stuff. I think they're Mount Jack deers, small je deers uh, or deer. And then, it's only about 10 minute walk from the pub if you wanted to to co-op so if you wanted to pick up some stuff on the way back do a little triangular thing 10 minute walk from pub to co-op and then 15 minute from co-op back to here so if you wanted to have a couple of beers pick up some groceries on the way back that's great and also the co-op is um, it's good for vegans actually this one because uh, being vegans ourselves we managed to pick up some lovely stuff there in fact we're having some tonight some vegan kievs and i think we're going to finish off some uh, little oven chip things that we bought so that's lovely as well so yeah a nice little circuit there i'm getting to know dursingham quite well um don't know if you can hear it but i'm just listening to um to my radio show which is actually going to be aired tomorrow i'm just proof listening to it at the moment just to make sure there's no swearing or anything um, so yeah, we've really, really, really enjoyed it. The actual site itself is good facilities, um, not particularly plush or anything, but yeah, it's been really, really, really nice. At the moment, I think it's £30 a night. These last two nights we paid £30 a night for, um, but previously we booked the, uh, the first four nights 
at £26 a night, so a little bit cheaper. I suppose there's a lot of demand for them at the moment, so they're putting their prices up. So yeah, like both of us said, it will be a bit sad to go tomorrow. Having said that, another part of us thinks it will quite start to looking forward to the, the creature comforts of being home, um, but a little bit sad. Um, but then we know that obviously we can come in here wherever we like. It's only a couple of miles up the road from Leicester. It's only £30 a night, although, like I say, they'll be booked at the moment or through the summer, but we plan to go caravanning in the winter as well, so perhaps come back come back here later in the year, Christmas, New Year, I don't know if they're open then, something like that. So yeah, really enjoyed it. So anyway, I need to get cracking with the tea. Don't I, love? Yeah. Yes, I do, Kevin. Catch you later.